I'm into data. It just kind of helps me think straight. I want to show you some data in a moment. You may want to get your phones out. I put this on Twitter and Instagram. I'm not going to do that every sermon, I promise. It just kind of happened. But here's the deal. There's a place called the Center for Biblical Engagement. Years ago, they did a study to see what fruit does being in God's word actually bear out in the lives of real people. The results were so striking. Uh, just a few years ago, they went and redid the entire study and it proved what they had found the first time all over again. I'm gonna show you just some of what they had found. If you read the Bible four plus times per week, your drinking to excess will go down, it's a negative, 62% just by being in God's word. Viewing porn will go down in your life 59%. Having sex outside marriage, down 59%. Lashing out in anger, down 31%. Here's what this means. Some of us are so controlled by pornography. It's just a magnet you can't resist. And there are multiple ways you should be fighting that. Yes, but if all you do is get in God's word, if all you do is get in God's word, that pull in your life is going to go down. There's more. Reading the Bible four plus times per week. Your gossip, go way down. Neglecting your family, go down 26%. Overeating or mishandling food will decrease in your life. Mishandling money will go down 20%. We have all kinds of great stewardship resources in this church that you should take advantage of. But if all you do is read God's word four plus times per week, your path to being debt free and saving right and most importantly being generous is gonna be on the right track. Keep going. Read the Bible four plus times per week. Your bitterness will go down. Anybody bitter? You need some help with that. Self-destructive thinking that can be very dangerous will decrease in your life. Feeling like you have to hide what you do or feel, which is the opposite of the authentic life a Christian should be living. I mean, think about this. It says reading the Bible four plus times per week results in all this. As Christians, we want to be sold out, right? There's something about... The majority of days per week, like that's the, that's the tipping point for where these results start to bear fruit in your life. But as Christians, we want to read the Bible seven days a week. We want to be in God's word every day. I can't imagine what these percentages would be if it was, if you read the Bible seven days per week, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Reading the Bible four plus times per week. If you have difficulty forgiving someone, it'll help that. If you're discouraged, if you're lonely, if you have anxiety, Here's all kinds of healthy ways to attack anxiety, but there's something about getting God's, in God's word that takes care of that too. Here's what I would be thinking if I wasn't a Jesus follower, if I wasn't a Christian, if, if I was you, is I would look at this and say, you know what? Even if I think Jesus' body is rotting in the grave, contrary to Acts 13, if I'm discouraged, I just read God's word every day and see what happens, Right? Just see what fruit it bears in your life. Keep going. Reading the Bible four plus, time, four plus times per week. If you feel stagnant spiritually, if you feel like you can't please God, those are tough places to be. Just get in God's word and it's gonna really help that. Reading the Bible four plus times per week, your giving will go off the chart. Your discipling of other people will increase exponentially. We talk so much in our church about discipling and the need for discipleship as we should. But if all we do is just get in God's word, discipleship happens. In fact, these results are so striking. Lifeway Research did their own version of this. And they said, reading the Bible is the number one predictor of spiritual maturity. How do you grow as a Christian? Read your Bible. What else? Just do that and you'll be good. <laughs> But here's the one I uh, made me show all these to you. If you read the Bible four plus times per week, sharing your faith with others goes up 228%. Listen, if everyone who is part of the Southeast family simply got in God's word every single day without fail, hell loses. 